Hey everybody. Well, today I thought we could take a look at an older Lego set. This is set number 79108 and it is from the Lone Ranger movie from 2013, I believe is when that movie came out. Um, the movie was panned by critics, but I actually really liked the movie. I thought it was great. And uh, of course, Johnny Depp, I really like him because he likes to play these off the wall characters and he plays Tonto in that movie. Uh, this set only has 279 pieces. It's a really small set and um, you know, it's hard to find these, well, kind of hard to find the Lone Ranger sets, especially if you want them brand new in the box. This one is brand new in the box. I got it on eBay. Uh, they originally sold for about $30 back in the day, but um, if you want one now, you're going to have to pay probably around $120 or more. I was lucky enough to find this one for under $100, bucks, brand new, and so I was glad that I at least got it for a good price. On the back here, we can see there's a little bit more detail going on. Um, you know, the stagecoach itself is probably the highlight of the whole set. What's really cool about this set is it actually comes with three horses, which is a little unusual to get that many animal figures. You got the brown horse here and the two that pull the stagecoach. So that's pretty cool. There is five different uh, characters, um, the minifigures that come with this set. There's a strong box that opens up. I think there's a silver bar in there. And uh, so, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So. Uh, I've been looking forward to building this set. All right, well, let's open it up and see what the bags look like. All right, so this only has three bags in it. As I mentioned, it's a small set, but we got some nice wagon wheel pieces in there. There's uh, some minifigures. I like those horses that are in there. The brown horse is in number three, so uh, yeah, shouldn't take too long to build this set. Here's the instruction book that comes with this. And like I said, it's just a small set. Probably not going to take too long to put together. Um, you know, it's always weird when I uh, get a set that's an older set. I mean, it's nine years old, and nobody's ever uh, built it. It's just kind of weird to think it's been sitting in the box for that long. And then here is the stickers that come with this set. A couple of stagecoach signs, a couple of decorative elements. I'm guessing those are the seats for the uh, interior, maybe? I'm not really sure. I'll have to take a look. You can see the decorative ones there. All right, well, get started on this, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so we'll start out with the minifigures here. So we got Barrett on the left and Jesus on the right. You can see they got some really nice printing that they did on these guys. I think that's the first time I've seen the uh, mask or the bandana piece, even though this is an older set. The back also has some great printing on here. <laughs> There's no alternate faces since they're wearing their uh, cowboy hats. And they give you some extra guns and knives too, which is really cool. There's five figures total. So these two are really great. Here's the other three figures now. We got the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Red Harrington. <laughs> these figures look fantastic. Tonto's got his uh, pocket watch, which is an integral part of the story. I uh, love the bird on his head that he's always trying to feed in the movie, which is pretty funny. Red Harrington looks absolutely fantastic. That hair piece is really cool. The hat, which fits on the hair piece, is actually really cool too. I love that she's got her white shotgun uh, leg <laughs> it's really awesome and then we also have the nice cloth uh, skirt that she has on there which is really cool as well they uh, do have alternate faces for red harrington and tonto i'll show you those in just a second here uh, but these are really cool i absolutely love these figures all right let me show you their alternate faces i just turned their hair pieces around so you can kind of get a better look here so Tonto's got a more subdued face there, and now Red Harrington's the one that's got the look of panic on her face. So those are really cool. I absolutely love the figures in this set. This set is also amazing because you get three horses, which is kind of unusual for Lego sets. They don't usually give you a whole lot of animals all together, but you do get three of these. There's two black ones that pull the stagecoach, and we also have this brown one here. They also give you the alternate pieces that you can put where the saddles are, where it's just a one by two piece with a uh, another one by two flat piece. So you can replace the, the uh, saddle on this one and these little sections in here if you want to keep the horses separate. This one's cool because it has the stick of dynamite, the dynamite pieces, and it also has the uh, shotgun thing here on the side. Uh, the horse's legs can be posed back like that so you can make it look like he's raised up like that. And then also um, the head it's a little bit stiff on there. The head will also bend down as well. So you can see like that. And then 
kind of clicks in place for the upper part. The front legs don't uh, pose or anything, but they do look pretty cool. So then you can stick, uh, we'll just use Barrett here. You can just stick the minifigures right in here like this. Then there you go. They're just kind of, they actually stand in the saddle, but <laughs> it still looks really cool. So I love that they provide three horses in this set. And here is the stagecoach itself, and this looks really good. I really love this thing. Looks very much uh, like the right shape of a stagecoach. I've seen other models of these, and um, besides Lego, I mean, and they don't look quite right. This has kind of the right proportions that you're kind of used to seeing in Western movies and stuff like that. Um, I forgot to flip this down. I'll show you that little feature here in just a minute. But this is really well done. Uh, I would say that it looks, I would say the stagecoach looks kind of large in proportion to the horses. I mean, if you kind of look at them here, I mean, I guess it's just the way it is, um, the way they kind of had to do it to make it minifigure scale, I guess. I'm not really sure. But uh, the wheels rolled nice and smooth on here. And the uh, little midsection right there, you can see how the wheels turn. They just have a really smooth mechanism right inside there. So uh, I think this is really well done. All right, so let's get some close-ups of it so you can see the details. So looking from the top here, we have this really nice safe that's up at the top. I'll show you what that does in just a minute. There's a little letter right here, and it's inside of a bag up at the top right there. There's the seat for a driver. We got some nice little coach lights on the side here. The reins, which come down to the horses which is really well done. There's that ball joint kind of thing for uh, making the wheels turn so nice. I mean, that works really, really good right there. I love the wagon wheel pieces. Uh, I think I've seen those before in other sets. There's a little step right there to get up inside. And there's actually these little doors that open up. They use the old smaller car doors. So you can actually open the door so people can get inside there. And there's a sticker right there that says Stagecoach. Some decorative stickers here on the side. Looks really good. Back here is that little carriage section, and I'll show you what that does here in just a second. Over here, kind of the same thing we got going on. These doors also open as well. There's the underside. They use kind of those uh, curved pieces underneath there to kind of make the, it's almost like a boat shape at the bottom. So yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so on the back here is a little action feature. So this little lid opens up right here. And inside they've got a little suitcase. And then when you push on this, it flings it out of there. So you can see how it drops out. So there's nothing actually in the suitcase, but it's a nice little piece, just kind of snaps shut. Fits back inside there. So apparently there was supposed to be a scene where the suitcase gets flung out of there. And here is the lid that goes back down on there. So that's pretty cool. Here is the safe. It's a nicely built piece. It's pretty fun to build this little thing. Got some nice handles going on on the side there. Made out of gold. There's the uh, combination dial. And then you got the unlock mechanism. So this does open up. And inside, I'm assuming that that bottom section is supposed to be gold. And then they have one silver ingot in here. I kind of wish they would have provided more than just this one ingot because, uh, I, I don't know, they could have probably maybe given us three more of those. I think that would have been kind of cool. But I do like it, and I think it looks really good. Now for easier access for the inside, you can actually just pull the top off. It just has jumpers on there, so you can take the roof off. And down inside here, you can kind of see there's not a lot going on in there. You can see there's uh, some stickers. Let me see if I can get the light in here. Let's see, let me see if I can go over this way. See how there's some stickers in there that kind of make the uh, the cushions on the chair. But the chair, you know, it's kind of flat for the most part. I mean, you can kind of see what's going on in there. So yeah, it's not really detailed. But you know, if you look at stagecoaches, there's not a lot of detail inside there anyway. I mean, it's pretty much it's just a seat on each side. There's no table or anything in between. But it's nice that they do allow for you to get inside there a little bit easier. So I like that Lego does that. Here's the bottom in case you're curious as to what that looks like. And there you can see these curved bits that they use for the main uh, bottom section there. So yeah, it's kind of weird how it kind of has that. But I mean, it looks right. It looks really good. I think it's a pretty good design, whoever came up with it. 
One thing I did change on this is this foot, um, I don't know what you call it, this foot plate down here. On the instructions, they have you put it upside down, but on the bottom side, you, you can see it's just a, a flat, no detailed thing. And on the top here, it actually has kind of like a, you kind of see it has a little bit of detail. It looks like it's made of wood slats or even metal. So I'm not really sure why they tell you to put that upside down. I don't, I didn't think it looked right, so I went ahead and flipped it over. I mean, it doesn't matter. It still works no matter which way you do it. But, um, I mean, it's strictly a choice if you want to change it, but I just thought it looked better that way. All right, well, there we go. The Lone Ranger Stagecoach set from 2013. I think this is a fantastic set. You know, what's really weird about this set is that this scene never actually occurred in the movie. There was no stagecoach chase scene. Uh, when I got this set, I had to go back and watch the movie because I thought, I don't remember there being a stagecoach chase scene or even a stagecoach in the movie, and it turns out there wasn't. So uh, I think what happened with this, and this has happened before with Lego sets, um, I think it's happened in Star Wars sets, but you know the studio will approach Lego and say, hey, we want you to make some sets for this movie that we're going to have coming out. And so uh, they kind of give them a general synopsis of what the, the uh, plot's about or what's going to happen. And maybe they told them there's going to be this stagecoach uh, chase scene that's going to involve you know, these characters, uh, a strong box or a safe on the top. There's going to be something to do with a suitcase being flung out of the back. And then uh, Lego designers come up with this kind of a thing. And then by the time the movie comes out, um, maybe some changes were made. Maybe they filmed the scene and the scene was cut out of the picture or uh, they just didn't film it at all. And so I kind of feel sorry for Lego because sometimes they get kind of, you know, left hanging with a set that was actually not pertaining to the movie at all. And that's what happened with this. But, um, you know, I still think it's pretty cool because I think uh, Lego doesn't have too many stagecoach sets and this one looks really good i mean if they're going to do one this looks really good especially for the scale and i kind of wish they'd go back and do some more western sets it's kind of a a, a theme that they've kind of shied away from and you don't see much western stuff anymore but the movie is fantastic if you haven't seen it you really got to check it out um, I really like Johnny Depp. He plays, I like the crazy characters that he plays. His Jack Sparrow characters on every one of those Pirates of the Caribbean movies are great. And uh, same with Tonto here. Uh, I like that he plays these kind of weird characters. But the movie's really good. It's got some humor in it. But it also is a great uh, adventure and serious movie too. And the, the, tr the train chase scene in it is fantastic. There's a couple of train chase scenes. It's really cool. And they actually filmed some of that movie here where I live too, which is really awesome. All right, well, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit the like button and also subscribe, too. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and have a good one.